Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got another press on nail video for you guys. So with my press on nails, I've already prepped them. And by prep, I mean I've already buffed them. And now I'm just going over with a nail cleaner and just wiping down the surface. I often like to do that because I just like to get all those dust off so I don't get any clumps in the gel nor in my brush and then back into the bottle. And you also want to prep the press on nails the same way you would prep any other nails, whether you're doing it on a client or not. As that way the gel polish will last on longer and you end up with a super happy customer. But yeah, so then I just go in with my base coat and I just apply it on all the nails and then I pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. The base coat that I'm using is from Semilac. Once it's out of the lab, I'm just showing you the gel polish that I'll be using from Venalisa. So I decided to play about with a purple and a pink. And I think I was inspired by someone with this design. Um, I filmed this video a few months ago now. I just haven't had the chance to edit it up because I've been moving out. So sorry about the lack of videos this month. But, I'm sh but I promise I'll be back on it again. So you see much more from me now. So here I'm just applying the purple colour on both the thumb, the index finger and the pinky. Then I'm applying that baby pink colour on the ring finger. As you can see that pink colour is much more opaque than the purple. But that's no worries because we'll be applying two coats anyways of each colour. So the purple will become a bit more opaque on the second round. And then with the middle finger I decided to do something funky, something creative. I'm sure it's not as creative as some of you guys can probably make it, but I wanted to do something different. So I decided to do a dia I decided to do a diagonal line going down off the nail. And one part of the nail I wanted to coat with the purple. And the other side I wanted to coat with the pink. I'm not the best at describing, so if you just watch the video, you see what I'm trying to do here. So don't worry if this nail is also not too opaque, as we will also be applying two coats on this nail. As you can see it's an easy one you don't need any nail brushes or anything so so yeah so this is the first coat and then I'm gonna let you guys watch me apply the second coat and you'll see how the purple becomes much more opaque and much more of a nicer purple not so sheer anymore I love press on nails so much it must be my absolute favorite thing to do and also to wear like I only came across press on nails in August of 2020 and Ever since I fell in love, it's just the easiest way to have your nails done and also to make them yourself, like, yeah, and also as long as you do the prep properly, they also last a very long time because I feel like a lot of people don't like pressing nails because they don't last and all of that stuff, but that's just purely because of the way they have applied the nails on themselves, so it's really important to prep your own nails and as it's very important to prep your own nails as well as the press on nails before you actually glue them on. And to prep your own nails, it's just buff them and roughen up the surface so that the glue has something to stick onto. And same thing with the press on nail, you want to rough it up underneath where you'll be putting the glue on. So that it glues on better. And yeah, I've definitely tried not to buff my nails and do the prep and the nails just went flying off pretty much the same day. And when I do my prep, they stay on for about 2-3 weeks sometimes. So, so it's important that you guys do your preps. If you'd like to see me show you how to prep your nails and apply press on nails, then just let me know down in the comments below. I'll be very happy to do that for you. So here is two coats of the colours and then I decided to do some animal prints on the nails to just give it a bit of a spicy look. I'm not too sure what these black 
patterns were meant to be like a panthery look or I don't know, a cow look. But yeah, I'm just applying random dots all over the nail and just like not just dots, but you know, just smudging it around and just creating little patterns. And I'm just doing it across the nail, but not right till the end. Just shortly after reaching the purple, I decided to stop. And I pretty much did the same thing for the other pink nail. But for the pink nail, I ended up just doing the black prints across the whole entire nail. I feel like I definitely put too much black dots all over the middle finger but that's but that's obviously all up to you on how much you want to do how much and how little so yeah everyone can everyone can customize it down to what they love and what they like but yeah i'm here just applying the black all over the pink nail i'm so glad i actually did that because it just like made the whole nail look the whole nail look just look way better without it it just looked a bit too bad for me that's why I also like pressing nails because you can actually get so creative and there's like, you know, the customers and getting angry that you're taking too long trying to figure out what to do with their nails and you know, you can position the tip every, you can position the tip the way you want it so it's easiest for you to create something on it. So yeah, I have literally nothing bad to say about pressing nails. So then that popped in the lamp for 30 seconds. I probably should have kept it on there for longer because later you see it slightly smudge. But yeah, that will just be later. So I'll let you guys know when it's coming. And now I decided to do one nail just full of bling. I still need to work on my bling placement, so please don't judge me. But I just did a ring at the top of the gems. And then I had this like droplet looking crystal. So I decided to place that in the middle and then do a line coming down from it right till the end of the nail um yeah i'm not too sure on how to describe what i did but yeah as long as you watch the video i'm sure you can see exactly what i'm doing but yeah at the top i'm just going from biggest crystal down to the smallest and then after that i applied the big crystal right in the middle of the droplet and then around that i also went with the ring of little crystals but i don't know if that was a good decision um now looking back on it maybe it would have just looked better with just that simple droplet but never mind you know <laughs> We learn, um, and we get better every day. So yeah, this is what I did. So I'll let you guys just continue watching on how I did that one.
So this is what all the nails look like now after I applied all the crystals. So after applying the crystals and putting it in the lamp for about a minute, I decided to now apply my top coat. But rather than applying a glossy top coat, I decided to apply a matte top coat because I just felt like it's just going to give it that extra, you know, extra push and make it look way better than it already does. So this is when the actual black colour decided to smudge. I'm not too sure what happened. I mean, it was in the lamp for I don't know, maybe 30 to a minute. Maybe it had to be longer because it is black or something. I don't know. But luckily it didn't smudge too much. So it's still like, you know, wearable and not too noticeable. But it was still slightly annoying. But never mind, um, next time I'll make sure to like keep it in the lamp for a very, very long amount of time. But yeah, now I'm applying the matte top coat and making sure you don't put the top coat all over the crystals. You want to go around it because you're just going to... Because what the top coat will do is just not make the crystals as shiny anymore, especially if you're applying a matte top coat. So definitely want to avoid the crystals. And yeah, so here are the nails out of the lamp after applying the matte top coat. I think they look so nice and I feel like this is going to look so cute on the hand. So I can't wait to try them on. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you'd like, I do have a personal nail business. So do check me out. I have all my links down in the description. Thank you all for watching. Bye guys.